Okay, Paul, it ended 3-2 tonight against Accrington, the same as uh, last season, the same as last week. Um, I'm not sure my heart can take it. How about yours? I'm, I'm shattered. I mean, we, we were for a while the 2-2 two -two specialist, so 3-2 is a lot better than being a 2-2 two -two specialist. So if we win every game 3-2 and we score goals and the players are enjoying the football and the supporters are enjoying the, the, um, the entertainment, I'll, I'll sacrifice my, my anxiety for the, the good of the game. But it was another cracking game the goals were the goals were brilliant um, there's no there's no um, there's no hint that we're not a creative team anymore you know we've, we've certainly proved that we are you know a, an attacking team now we can we can score goals so I'm looking forward to a weekend off two days to, to have a good rest and look forward to training on Monday knowing that we've we're pushing and edging up the league with Burton coming next Saturday I mean, going, going through the goals, Liam's, of course, for his first of the season. And, you know, he came on the stroke at half time and uh, a really nice overlap from Woody to put the ball in and a, and a really composed finish. It was a really good goal. I, I mean, every goal had their merits today. Um, I mean, Matt Grimes' free kick was, 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 of a, was of a level higher than League Two. And, that's, and he's done it regularly. Tom Nichols' strike was just, you know, absolute sweet as a nut power blaster and then the first goal was the one that had all the craft really it was an overlap from Craig Woodman and an absolutely sublime checked pass from David Noble to keep the ball in play just before the, the dead ball line and Liam arrived where he's been asked to arrive late penalty spot and come late and uh, he got there with a really really classy controlled finish which I have to say often would have flying over the bar but he, um, he managed to keep it under the crossbar and uh, and got us the first goal. And Accrington, of course, played a, bit, a big part in the game, and uh, you know they got their two goals, you know, to, to kind of claw themselves back into the game. And we had to do a little bit of hanging on at the end as well, there. Yeah, well, we've, we've been we've been used to putting teams under pressure, haven't we, this year um, ourselves? So it doesn't does no harm in, in in having to do that at the end of a game. Good for the good for the the feel good factor, you know, to, to to know that you can hang on and you can put yourself. We did it on on. On Saturday, albeit for four minutes at the end of the game, we blocked shots and defended our goal. We did it today for the final 10, 15 minutes. So we had a bit of everything today and uh, we had 150 supporters, followers up here, get here by hook or by crook. Well done them, thank you very much. It made it, it, made it that much more enjoyable for us being here and uh, hopefully we played our part tonight. So one game at a time, Burton next week and I, was, I would imagine we'll get a really good following next week. We've got another team top of the table coming to play us. Jimmy Floyd, Hasselbank in charge. Ryan Harley, Clinton Morrison, Alex Nichols into the into the frame. So it, it looks rosy.